I have always heard legendary tales of large pillow stacks and the deepest of powder in Revelstoke, BC. My brother Yancey and I decided to pull the trigger. We loaded up, gassed up, and are headed north to Canada from Sun Valley, Idaho. Quick stop to visit our grandma before crossing the border, and these two Idaho boys will be on an adventure into unfamiliar territory. I'm Wyatt Caldwell, and we're on the road to Revelstoke. Revelstoke has been blowing up because storm chasers like us can choose how we want to access the goods each day. Within 20 minutes of the modern coffee shop, you can be catching the Stoke chairlift at RMR, pinning your sled into prime snowmobile terrain, or heading up the skin tracks on Rogers Pass into Canada's best touring zones. Yancey and I came prepared to sample all three. The resort riding was insane. An easy traverse over to North Bowl and a quick hike up the ridge and we were looking down some untracked chutes. I remember following my brother through the trees dropping off pillow after pillow behind him all the way to the bottom. It's rad that the chairlift punches up the mountain so high in elevation. That's where the snow just cakes on the trees and wind lips start to develop everywhere. Just painting some light on a long exposure photo. Camped out on Rogers Pass here at the Glacier Park Lodge. No one around, it's been snowing good pal, so looking to do some split boarding in the morning. We took a split board hike straight up from the parking lot and got into some deep snow really quick. It was crushing snow harder than I've ever seen before, so we didn't make it into the high alpine, but I hear there are endless touring routes available above the tree line. I hope to make it back someday for another day of touring on Rogers for sure. It's pretty easy to see that Revelstoke is a snowmobile mecca. Almost every pickup truck I saw had a sled in the back. Enclosed trailers everywhere and plenty of trailheads to access the mountains. We rolled over to the sled shed to get our clutches dialed in for the proper elevation so we would get the most horsepower out of our engines. Little adjustment for the altitude, 1500 feet here. They were used to 9000 back home so they'll be pulling strong now and we won't burn our motor up. Now we can go pow surfing. Good thing we did, the powder was so deep we needed every ounce of power our Polaris machines had just to stay afloat in the powder and not get really stuck. We rode all day and didn't see any other sledders out in the mountains. That was by far the deepest snow I have ever attempted to ride our sleds in. The four fresh feet of powder felt like I was riding a submarine. My sled was completely under the snow with each turn. I felt like I needed a snorkel to breathe fresh air during all the face shots realized we had only scratched the surface of the available sled terrain Revelstoke has to offer. You could spend a lifetime up here exploring all the different zones. Revelstoke was one of the coolest places I've ever been for winter fun. A down-to-earth town with good vibes and a friendly community. I can't wait to go back for more. With great snow and amazing terrain, it would be hard to have a bad time in Revelstoke. Mm -hmm.